Welcome to the News 2 at 10. I'm Kenley Hargett. We are learning new information tonight about a deadly crash in Murfreesboro involving five athletes from Cumberland University. The one car crash happened just before one this morning on East Clark Boulevard. One person was killed, four others hurt, including one in critical condition tonight. Murfreesboro police say front seat passenger 22 year old Marcus Webb died at the scene. The driver 24 year old Jameer Johnson as well as two others are all listed in stable condition with various injuries. 20 year old Brandon Pace Jr is in critical condition. Police say the car lost control and hit a tree. Alcohol was found inside the car and witnesses say the car was speeding and did not have its lights on. News 2 has confirmed all five of the men in the crash were athletes at Cumberland University. One was a former football player and the other four were currently on the team. News 2's Nikki McGee spoke with the university president about how the campus community is working to cope with this tragedy. Well, just as football season was ramping up here at Cumberland University, teammates are absolutely devastated to learn about this crash. This afternoon, we spoke with the university president who tells us this is a huge blow to this tight knit community of roughly only 3000 students. Cumberland University is mourning the loss of former student athlete Marcus Webb, who tragically lost his life in an early morning car crash in Murfreesboro. Also injured, Brandon Pace Jr., Jameer Johnson, Lamar Childress, and Jeremiah Matthews. The boys on that football team are all a family. And in fact, our whole student body is all part of a family. And that's why it, this has just been so critical and we're all grieving together. University President Paul Stum spent the day Sunday reaching out to these athletes' loved ones, letting them know how much each one means to the Phoenix family. I want them to know that we particularly for the one uh, young man who passed away, that he will always be part of the Cumberland family. But for those who are still injured and in the hospital, we're there for them, we care about them, we're lifting them up and holding them up in our prayers and thoughts, and that we want to be there for those families however we can. Head football coach Tim Mathis sat the football team down Sunday afternoon, letting them know about the tragic crash. President Stum shares in his message of relying on one another through this time of grief. Everybody grieves in different ways, but don't try to hold it in. Just let it out and share with each other. Be part of the family. Let the family, let us, the faculty, staff, administration, the fellow football players, let us all be supportive as we go through this grief together. Grief counseling will be available for the rest of the week to students here at Cumberland University. Anyone wanting to make an appointment can contact the university chaplain. In Lebanon, Nikki McGee, News 2.